So first round, Kalzaki, the super middle middleweight champion of Britain in the black shorts. Irish Pat Lola, obviously in the green. It's a rather apprehensive start from Kalzaki, Gareth. We're not used to this. Yes, I think he's uh, rightly has respect for a man who's been in with three world, a uh, beaten three world champions, been in with six, and uh, has been there, done it, and bought the T-shirt. In fact, he's he's bought a T-shirt belonging to a Cardiff brewery. I noticed when he walked into the ring, which is a nice touch. Well, let's let's hope he hasn't been drinking too much of the uh, SA brains. Well, he's advertising a pub on his shorts as well, so it does indicate his tastes might be in that direction. Well, if you look at the condition, he looks like he's been drinking a bit of beer. I'm sure he hasn't this week. Taking this fight very seriously, and would have to with Joe Kalzaki. Tremendous puncher, very, very accurate, and very quick. <laughs> Got every punch in the book, Kalzaki, Gareth. He has, and he... He has more talent than he sometimes shows. He, he tends to get a little untidy on occasions, but he seems to be in very controlled mode today. And uh, at the moment, Lawler doesn't really know how to respond. Well, it's a bit naughty by Kalzaki. He was told to break and hit on the back of the head. Seems to have everything in the book, does Kalzaki. He, uh, when he won the title against Mark Delaney, the British title, that is, he took a few shots right on the chin and took them well without flinching. They're good body shots. Right hooks. Given the amount of body that Lawler has, that seems to be an excellent target area to choose. Irish Pat Lola smiles, but surely it's more of a grimace than a smile. He's taking some good body shots from Kalzaki. Good left hook and a right hook to the body, too. Quick hands, Kalzaki. Well, he's working Lola over here, Gareth. Good first round for Kalzaki. Indeed, and uh, very little coming back from Pat Lola. Father Enzo Kalzaki in the corner, and of course Mickey Duff and Terry Lawless helping. I think they will be well pleased with what they've seen in the first round. Uh, sometimes Kalzaghi can get a little wild when he thinks he's hurt his opponent. This time he was he was totally in control, and, and this man, Pat Lawler, all the experience, he's met Benitez, he met Duran, met Hector Camacho, met Rene and Arredondo, all world champions, Terry Norris again, John David Jackson, the man he actually fought when he challenged for the WBO light middleweight title. He stopped him in nine rounds in San Francisco. But all the experience of, of dealing with all those men has not necessarily helped him too much in facing the taller and more powerful Joe Calzaghi. Second round, Calzaghi in the black shorts, Pat Lawler in the green. a low shot from Lola. Right hook. Well, blinding hand speed from Kalzaki and Lola really is getting frustrated. He's got no way through. Wobbled by a few shots inside. They got through. 
Lawler retreating to the ropes, retreating to the corners. He seems to be doing a guided tour of the ring at the moment. This is the third corner he's gone to. Uh, if he's hoping to catch Calzaghe open coming in, he's being a bit optimistic. But I'm glad to see he has actually gone to the fourth corner as well. So when he goes home, he'll at least be able to now. say that he's, uh, he's seen the whole of the Star Leisure Centre spot. Anyway, may, may well yet see the roof too. Looking up at the ceiling. <laughs> He's beginning to look uh, a little weary, shall we say, for all that little uh, spring there. Well, for all his experience, I don't think he knows what to do, really. Under severe pressure in the corner. And he's hurt, and Kalsaki's got him going. Well, now we'll see Lola complain, I'm sure, but he knows it was a good decision. Mm -hmm. Under tremendous pressure. He deserved applause from this crowd in Cardiff for local Welsh hero, Joe Kalsaki. Well, here we see some action on the ropes, Gareth. Yes, and it's... Uh, Totally defensive mode, Lola, as he was indeed for most of the fight. And when you have the range of punch that Calzaghi has, you can just keep throwing, and some of them are going to get through, and running across the ring is not going to get you away because they've got ropes the other side to stop you going. And uh, I think a wise decision from referee Roddy Evans, putting himself a little bit at risk in leaping between.